Mr. Speaker, in light of his gross mishandling of the situation regarding our troops in Afghanistan, will the Defence Minister stand up and resign? Speaker recognizes the member for York Centre and the Dimwits. <laughs> Speaker recognizes the member for York Centre. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, uh, my boss, Larry Javis, sorry. Speaker directs the member to answer the damn question. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I will not resign. It is true that I may not have been aware of some aspects of the Afghanistan mission, like the facts. <laughs> but, but look, it, I, I still have the complete support of every member of the Liberal Party. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Mr. Speaker, does the minister know or not know what is going on with our military? Do I know what's going on? <laughs> hey, I've seen Black Hawk down three times. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I, I probably shouldn't be telling this to the House, but we have a lot of troops on the ground in Abu Dhabi, uh, Armenia, al uh, What's that place named after a dog? Uh, Beagle Land. No, it's not it. And anyway, Mr. Speaker, Afghanistan. We have troops in Afghanistan, in the town of Candy Bar. And, and their job is to protect the local candy harlots and, and candy weenies. Granted, our troops do not have the proper desert uniforms, but for safety reasons, each and every soldier is fitted with one of these. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, will the Defense Minister tell us exactly how many troops we have over there? I can do that. I can do that. Okay, we already had 750 there, and uh, I'm sending 130 more, so that's going to be way over 1,000. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, is the minister a slow learner or what? I'm sorry, I don't understand the question. Is that multiple choice? <laughs> Mr. Speaker, exactly when did the member find out our elite JTF2 troops took prisoners? Look, don't, don't you give me a hard time. I have people working for me with guns. <laughs> Speaker says answer the question. Mr. Speaker, I'm aware of everything our R2-D2 unit does. <laughs> The truth is, we never did take prisoners. We handled it the Canadian way we took applications for prisoners. <laughs> the captured Al-Qaeda and Taliban members were required to fill out questionnaires with, I might add, some very difficult questions. It'll be at least six months to process the paperwork before we can let them know that they are indeed prisoners. <laughs> That's a ludicrous process. Thank you. <laughs> and it won't be long before we start issuing those prisoners with welfare checks and Canadian passports. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, how can the minister justify the fact he lied to the country? Well, the same way you do. Uh, I'm a politician. 